So I wanted to discuss yeah. a topic, and you guys could help me out on this because, so this weekend, uh, went ahead and rented some classic '80s kids movies, and just something to think about. You know, if you want to go back to as you as a kid. So I, I rented uh, Explorers, and I rented um, this other movie called The Flight of the Navigator. And because I've heard them, and, and the, what it is, I'm going by Rotten Tomatoes, 144 80s movies you must see. And I've started doing that, and they, they were on that list, and I watched the movies. And, you know... If I was a kid watching these movies, I don't think I would enjoy them. As an older person, I understand them. But here's my question. When you were younger, if you were like me, okay, let's say... Uh, so like a year ago? No, no. Like if you were... Okay, let's say... I don't know. What age did your parents like start bringing movies home for you to watch and all that kind of stuff? Toddler. Yeah, yeah. about how old about... Two, two, four, four. Four. four to really like appreciate an actual movie, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Four, but uh, but later in life, say eleven yeah. or ten or nine, was that still going on there? There was a. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let, let's go. Let's let's speed up a little bit past four years. So let's go. Nine. I and so you know like okay because I do remember see when when I was younger. Of course, we played a lot with uh, you know the figures. We'd have a friend of ours come over. You know, I don't know if you action figures. I don't. Know, were y'all into action figures or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, like the. Uh, I've got a Spider Man action figure that I love. The Spider Man oh, action. Batman. Batman was in the Batman, and then you create your own stories and uh, whatever have you. And so I had a, the kid that would come over. He'd bring his figures, and we all get together, and that that was a big thing because. Uh, having it okay so you know then you know mom would bring these movies that were made for kids and you know for family and we like oh crap this sucks and it's like and I, I'll tell you here's and like watching these films and as a kid as a adult I enjoyed the whole you know what do you call it, remin reminiscing as a kid like uh -huh. you know like watching yeah. Stranger Ki Things you know I think that's the reason why all these people watch Stranger Things, cause, oh, yeah, yeah, we used to ride bikes and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and watch Ghostbusters and all that. Yeah, you did that. Okay, that's cool. So, like, I, I love the nostalgia of watching the different aspects of it, but here's my question. If there was my biggest problem when I was a kid, say, eight or nine, whatever, and there was a child who was the protagonist, did you enjoy it? Or did you were like, oh man, that kid is so freaking annoying. It depends on the movie. Right. Yeah. I would say there was probably only one that I kind of enjoyed the child as being a protagonist. And that was um, the Cloak and Dagger movie. And I was a kid when that came out. And I liked it uh, very much. I mean, but you take these films, like, I'll give you three examples. Flight of the Navigator, Explorers... Uh, even maybe Space Camp. There was uh, also this other movie called uh, Daryl. They're very slow paced for children. You know, it's like uh, probably one of the fastest cartoons out there when uh, it would come out was Aladdin. You remember how fast paced that was? Mm -hmm. you know, it was like, yeah, Aladdin. It was like. Time changes oh, and literally yeah. Yeah. had you on your and, and you're sitting there it's always kind of grab you yeah, exactly but they do it really well yeah mm -hmm. and that's what i'm saying those way with those disney's did disney's those disney movies kind of do but it's like with these movies when you have the kid as a protagonist this is my feeling about the whole thing i don't think that these people think about what the kids actually like they think about what they like when they were a kid you know so for instance like i think the adults sit there and say okay you know i was like when i was a kid i did this this and this so i'm gonna put this kid in there who is you know and i guess my feelings is when i was younger i didn't want to see another kid in another movie you know because i was already a kid i saw myself other day i want to see an adult because i want to be an adult you know what i'm saying i just don't see how those films 
ever resonate to children now i mean what's your take on that i mean if you were saying okay uh guys i'm hiring you to write a movie for children now would you say i'm going to put anakin skywalker in there because uh this 40 year old man thinks he's cute or this these you're doing it for kids who's going to go to see the film there's no way in heck that that anakin skywalker was really a great character you know the little bitty uh whatever is little brat that was in him yeah, yeah the first one pod racing yeah oh my God. exactly that kid was as annoying as all get out and he, yeah for girls but i'm a dude and i'm a little boy i don't want to see no little boy I was like a really cute kid i wish i was anakin <laughs> He was always my favorite character. Really, the little then, little Anakin. Every year for Halloween, either Anakin or Peter Pan when I was a little bit. <laughs> like six years in a row. I'm not even kidding. I was a vampire every year. <laughs> now, actually, I have a bracelet that says "Bitten" on it. From the I was that I got. Say, I'm a vampire on a daily. So. I got Not this in 2011. Special. That's around uh, when I was still going as. When uh, you were bitten? Yes. That's when you were bitten? Yes. Yeah. You were bitten as a kid. Well, that happens. I mean, it's nothing against that. But, anyways, that's what my topic is is should you put, if you're doing kids' movies, should you use utilize children as a way to get kids to watch the film? I mean,. If you're yeah. gonna make them cool kids, like okay, I want to take uh, the Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh. I was a little bit older when that movie came oh, out, God. but the main character kid sucked, man. Like he was a decent actor, but his character sucked. But you put uh, what's his name, Taylor Lautner? Put Taylor Lautner and the girl who played Lava Girl in there, and they're just these cool, eccentric, like crazy, like hero characters. Yes. I want to. Well, see I that. mean, I like Spy Kids, I but he's bullying in high school and isn't able to do anything oh, to himself. I was school. like, or yeah, like middle school, yeah. and I'm like, dude, I could just go back to school or reminisce in my mind about getting bullied. I don't care about this kid that's like, oh, I can't do anything to defend myself. <laughs> it's like I don't want that kid in this movie. Give me another shark boy. <laughs> Imagine two shark boys in that movie. Dude, twins. It would be a banger. Spy Kids. I like Spy Kids a lot. Spy Kids was great, dude. They ha that was legit. They had okay. great gadgets. They had great characters. Strong. It was great. Okay, I want to bring up the fact that they had these watches that could do almost anything except tell time. Yeah. And then they got trapped in a sinkhole. And then the other kids from like the other agency or whatever, they come by and like, yeah, I have this watch and it does everything and tells. And it time. even tells time. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. The second movie, dude. I went to uh, McDonald's and I got one of those uh, bracelets that was like clamp onto your arm, and it was the Spy Kids watch. Did it tell time? No. <laughs> there that, you go. Yeah. There you go. So successful to me. That's what I'm saying. Then you go back to that whole espionage things like Cloak and Dagger. To me, I like that whole film because it was basically about espionage you had the kids and that i guess that kind of works because everybody wants to be kind of james bond um kind of thing but you take like daryl was so boring it was like based on some books and they had it it was like an abc <laughs> for kids uh series and then they went into the movie i was like oh my gosh this is so boring and little kids like you can't keep a kid's attention for something like mm -hmm. that so bad Keeping ones the give me some bad kid movies with kids in them because you got bad movies with kids that are just you want to kill the kid wasn't there i know a bad? kids movie that i really liked that i didn't want to kill the kid <laughs> That, I don't know why it randomly came to my mind, but the remake of Little Rascals, all the little kids in that movie were great, dude. I, I like. I actually that. took my girlfriend out on a date, and her little brother go see that movie. I think we talked about that at one point. Yeah, yeah it was a good movie. My mom brought it. Little Alfalfa! Ah! The, uh, the <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg uh, uh, and Reba McIntyre was in it. All right, so give me, Alex has got to have, come give me a bad kid movie. 
me think. Wasn't there like a live action Ben 10 movie that was like really bad? Was there? I think so. I'm trying to think. Yeah, See, you know, when I was a kid, was. if there was a bad movie, I wouldn't watch it. Honestly, like I'd be on my computer doing something else, like not really pay attention. So I can't well, really remember. Well, I don't. That's what I'm trying to say. If it's if, even that's why we were is is, you know, we didn't we, we didn't have the computer, but we had action figures. So we just go play with our action figures because oh, and create our own story. Bad movie with kids. The kids. Dude, I I'm always watching things and I'm like, wow, that kid's such a shitty actor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, there was some I I mean, there's some kids that when I was a kid that just were so cringy to me watching other kids act because I mean, it's like with me, I I was the best reader in my class. And in fact, I I uh, w they put me up on a speed reader. So reading and people would say, well, could you get Sean to read in public and all this kind of thing? Uh, and they try to book me for public readings and everything like that. And so it would just so be so cringy when you watch people read and it's like, oh my gosh, and here you are, you can read really, really well and you can act out the things. Because I did voices and all that kind of thing. And these other and this other guy is like this, and you see that in movies, and you're like, no, no. There was a movie I watched with the is about a bunch of kids going to summer camp, right? And it's a cute little movie, and I was watching it, and you know, no, it's not Friday the Thirteenth. This is for children. All right, so you know the best one is the Friday Thirteenth, the second one, the athletic girl's butt in that, in the second. <laughs> Remember checking that out. If you watched Friday the Thirteenth, we're on that no. part two. Check out that girl's butt. I tell you what, that is a very athletic ass. I'm telling you, you have to see that. Anyways, on the second one, if you go back to 19, because the first one they didn't have all that. It was more of a story. Okay, so uh, they were like, uh, the director was like, more butt, less story. So, but no, there was a summer camp movie about kids. And there was this kid that couldn't read his lines really well, and he's he's there, and they they had this character like Jason, you know, kind of spoofing it kind of thing. And then you find out that he's just a guy who's a gardener or something like that. And the ki but the kid who befriends him is like this horrible actor. He's like, so you you don't really use your your axe to kill people. You use it to paint paintings. And God's like, yeah kid pick up your cues <laughs> and it's because this little kid just driving us i was like oh, this is a good film until you know because i think jason bateman was in it michael j fox and these pretty good actors were carrying the film and this kid's just like ruining it with his acting so you can't think of one kid's film that was really 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 not off the top of my head, nothing sticking out at me, really. Well, me neither. Other than that Ben 10 movie. Um... I just watched Hereditary, but that movie in general was just a bust. I... Like, the kids were terrible, the woman was terrible, the plot was terrible. Oh, we're going for ter terrible movies. Sharknado, because that's a kid, not a kid's movie. And those things, too, are designed to be bad. That's what's so sad. Remember when they used to try to make movies to be good? Now they try yeah. to make them be bad. <laughs> So, which is you have the Sharknados, and I, I'm thinking about doing a series called uh, WTF Videos, basically where you guys would watch these videos and say, what <laughs> WTF, because they are. But I'm going to send you a link to a actual, like, direct-to-video kid movie to you, because you have to see this, because it's WTF. It was made in 1989, and when, you guys can watch this, you know, like, get high and watch this, and figure this one out. If what this are is you about, talking about, bro? You can, because this is a WTF kids film, and you have to say, they made this for children? I'm going to send you the link here, because this is... The craziest thing you'll ever see. You don't. You don't have to watch it now, but it is. Uh, it is nuttier than nuts. 
but it, it gives you an idea of what I was talking about is, of course, we've gotten into, okay, in the 80s and the 90s, they released a slew of straight-to-video movies, okay? And there are some WTFs out there, videos. Yeah. Because, <laughs> and it's not just like they were movies and everything. There was... Um, but you... Yeah, this... You'd have to check it out. It's but it's it's actually supposed to be a kids movie. Creating Ren Lazar, and it was made in eighty nine, and it's uh, luckily it's only less than an hour. <laughs> but I, I, the whole film is just W T F, and. I a screenshot, and it's this guy with, like, a headband and blue hair. I don't know, but that looks like it's going to be a good movie. Yeah. It is, and uh, and the guys who introduced this to me, and it's like, it's one of those things, of course, they're drinking a lot of beer when they're watching it. Um, it is really crazy, but it was designed for... Uh, uh, movies, but it's like some of these kids' movies that they're finding I never heard of, like Playing Dangerous One and Two, Skateboard Kid One and Two, all those films. I've never, yeah, yeah, there's Skateboard Kid and One and Two. When I was younger, we had like, uh, I, I don't know if it was the guy that used to play in uh, Battlestar Galactica and his family, this family that would get lost and they did two direct video films. Uh, there, there'd be some. Uh, just crazy family films that were directed video, you know, that only a mother would pick out in a video store. Uh, you know, like a 30, 40 year old mom would pick out. Yeah. Because cause a kid, oh, I know the kids would like this. And you're like, uh, mom, no. Mom, this is terrible. <laughs> Why'd you get this one? Oh, exactly. Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. Or, or, you know, it's like, it's got a dog in it. You like dogs, don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to see a talking dog, you know? And like, talking your dog. dog movies. Yeah, yeah, talking dog movies. Name a good one. A talking or a dog, like an animal movie? Yeah. Um, a dog's purpose. Dog's Wait. purpose. That don't even sound good. Um, dog's purpose. What, what is a dog's purpose? It was like there were two movies. One was a dog's purpose. I don't remember which one the first one is though. Um, it's about a I dog think of who the dies. And when you say purpose, I think I find I think of the jerk with Steve Martin where he says he finds his purpose. Just look, Google that scene, and you'll know what I'm talking about, and you'll get a kick out of it. Um, it was where he found his purpose. Uh, in fact, I, I was sending you to. Because when I think about that, no, there was uh, the du Air Bud. Air Bud. There was yeah, there like, were... tr like series of movies. Wasn't there like Snow Dogs or something like that with like the little huskies that would be doing? The yeah, movies? there was there was Snow Dogs with the Cuba Gooding Jr. And what happened to that dude? I mean, wasn't he uh, an Academy Award actor? I don't even and he think was like one of those movies. To be honest, I just remember it being a thing. And he was a he was an Academy Award winner. And I like this. What the heck? You're okay. Give me a bite of that corn dog. What about germs? Well, I love that dude. Put a rubber on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this woman's nasty. I think she's hot. <laughs> I think Alex has turned on. <laughs> what a great place. This what guy. a great place. You know, you can tell so much about a person from the way they live. Just looking around here, I can tell you're a genuinely dirty person. Genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> Sprays going Well, you keep it there. <laughs> you keep it there. Where's your 
Here's your garbage. Oh my god. Do you know what I'd like to do? <laughs> what? Guess your waste. Hey, All right, we're done with this. <laughs> <laughs> where he finds his purpose he calls his mother and says I found my purpose I found my purpose oh my god <laughs> oh, that's so crazy that's what I thought about that's the first thing that came to mind where he said the dog's purpose dog's and I was like purpose. oh my gosh I don't think that's the same thing so oh, there you have so. it definitely not the same movie no, that, <laughs> that was that was a great Air Bud, there was, yeah. there was also, there was, wasn't there, uh, what else did Bud do? Heck, we can find out. Soccer. Home. Yeah, Bud played soccer. Bud gets high. Bud smokes a Bud. Bud smokes a Bud. <laughs> let's see if we can find the, I want, let's find out, okay, we're going to find out. I want, here's the question of the day, and we'll end off here is, how many Bud movies were there? Oh my God! Uh, I think there was like you have to, You can't Google it. You can't Google it. I can't Google it. I don't know. I would uh, say what? four. Four Bud movies. Did you watch any of them? I uh, I did, but I don't remember watching them because I was very young. He's like, yeah, I watched all four of them. All right. Do you? What all about you? Four. Okay, okay. You got four. What do you got? I'll, I'll just go with five, bump up the number. Uh, do you want to know the real answer? Yeah. Ten. What? what? Yes, there were ten of them. Was and it I'll go over dog? with them. The first one was Air Bud. Uh, then he was a, a for Slam Duncan. He was a basketball player. Then he was Air Bud, the golden receiver. So get that. He's a dog. Air Bud 3. He was a uh, soccer player. Air Bud, seventh inning fetch. Guess what? Baseball. Yep. Okay, Air Bud spikes back. Guess what? Volleyball. Yeah. Okay, Air Buddies. Oh, uh, that's the one where they had the kid puppy. Yeah. I, and then number seven was Snow Buddies. Ah! Eight was Space Buddies. Oh, uh, I remember that being a thing, but I never watched it. Number nine was Santa Buddies. I okay. watched that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Number oh, ten was lot. Spooky Buddies. So those I, were your. I actually got. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> you want to see Spooky Buddies? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's Halloween. You got a spooky puppies. Spooky Buddies. All right. <laughs> So there, there you have it. Those are your ten Bud movies, and I and like I said, you know, I was trying to get so you guys don't have any bad experience with kid films. I think that's wonderful. I was like, nothing you know, to really like think of, but I know as soon as I get to work in like an hour, I'm gonna be like, oh, I hate this movie. <laughs> I should have brought that one up. Oh. So yeah, yeah, all right. So the question of the week is. How would you make Air Bud better? Cat, I don't know. <laughs> you Air can't. Bud better. Add cats. Musical instruments instead of sports. sports. Let's go like an Aristocrats vibe. The Aristocats. Yeah, I love Aristocats. That was a good movie. The Aristocats. The uh, those those I like the Siamese cat. Yeah, I saw the photo bomb there. Um, <laughs> Everybody, my brother. Ah. Yeah, you know, I always think of whenever always that happens. I always think of uh, that movie about the musician and the guy walks around the house with a full <laughs> frontal. <laughs> All right, so there you guys go. We got talked about Dark Phoenix. We talked about uh, kids' movies. So I want to get that out of the way because it's been on my mind for the whole weekend. Who's your daddy?